Let's play Uno today. Because life is but a game. <laughs> so this is Heels Numerology for tomorrow, which is um, 1127. Uh, <laughs> Justified enslavement to manifesting. 11, the justice card. 27 in my deck is the choices between enslavement and what you're dominating. Uh, it basically says that I'm connected to my journey. When you're connected to your journey, journey, you're either trying to find a way to stay on top or you're trying to find a way to get to the top. So it's the duality of existence. Um, in 2024, the year of manifestation. Um, so 11, 27, 2024 basically says I am justifying being enslaved to the mindset of manifesting. Um, it is basically when you have been shown that you don't have enough or that there's potential of more, you will already enlist that thought process to go on a journey. So 11, 27, 20, 24. And again, I'm using Uno cards. Um, resonance only. Ignorance always. Hold us to y'all. 11, 27, 20, 24. The justified enslavement to the process we call manifesting. <laughs> Two. Red's danger. Two. Knowledge. Two. The reflection point. What I think I'm seeing. What I think I'm seeing is what I think I know. Two, the connection to myself and separation. A lot of people don't understand that, but you'll be all right. So red, I'm in danger by my connection. If I justify being enslaved to the idea of manifesting, what I'm telling myself is allowed to get to that process of manifesting, that owns my energy. That owns my energy. If you're using bad methods, think about it. This could basically be somebody who is by any means necessary. If I'm going to get out here and hurt others to get what I need to help myself and you justify that shit, that's a bad connection. But that's the world we live in. So go on to the next line, the most dangerous line, 11, 27, 20, 24, by my process of um, inter integrated dissection, you come up with five twos. One number, vibration. Two numbers, a repeated vibration. Three numbers, a trap vibration. Four numbers, an infected vibration. Five numbers in a row, it's an infection. I mean, it's a fatal infection. That shit ain't going to let you free. Five twos in a row says it's a fatal connection. And basically, it's misery loves company. It's what I just got through saying. If you're taught that you don't have enough, and then everybody around you embraces that mindset that I don't have enough or I'm not enough to change, then you already create an environment that is conducive to that prevalent thought form. The fact that we think that we can't do anything different means that we keep producing the same. That means we stay stuck in what we think we know. Two, 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 two. You stuck on what you know. You want to see change? You got to get out of being stuck. You want to see change? You got to you got to get out of being stuck on what you think you know. Because as long as what you think you know that is already proven to be an infection is the only thing you use, <laughs> them five twos will show you where you're moving in reverse. Blue, power, throat chakra shit, manifestation. You're only going to manifest a bad five. What's a bad five? Remember, you were looking for manifesting. You're going to manifest manipulation. The five twos will show you where them five twos were really just one, <laughs> just one five, just one bad movement. If you want to tie that into tarot, five is the hierophant. It's the person who already has the knowledge of everything. They just might not share it. A lot of people will uh, uh, liken the um, the hierophant to an apostolic figure or to, let's just say, the Vatican. People presume that they know what's going on, but they just don't tell everybody. Now, you know what's going on. The average person, you know what's going on in your energy. You just don't trust it. So you listen to the stimuli of everything going on around you. Spiritual ad where you're going to see a bunch of numbers and repeat it. Not trying to dismiss what you saw. Inspired. But right now, with it getting closer towards the uh, days of the dead in the sense of the winter solstice, you're going to start seeing a bunch of what I call spiritual adware, spiritual madware, a bunch of five, 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 three, 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 two, two, twos or ooh, girl that resonate. I had the same thought because it's the end of this cyclic energy about to produce a new one, what we potentially call 2025. So you're going to start seeing a lot of people who are. I posted about it earlier. You're going to start seeing a lot of people who are finding resonance and seeing the same thing. Because as I said, if you pay attention to it, then it gets the credence for creation. If everybody pays attention to what's thrown in front of their face, 
ta-da, I got your energy. Does it have a meaning? Yeah, if you create one. Yeah, if you create one. If you create one and tie it into what you want to see or tie it into what you now think you're being shown, holy shit, as the creator, we can make that our journey. So I'll never sit here and tell you that that 555 that you saw ain't got nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with you. It's just a choice of if I want to have everything to do with it. And I've been saying that as far as, uh, especially as a vibrationalist numerologist, I've been saying that for almost 10 years. These numbers can come up, but if you keep telling yourself it's all this angel bullshit, ooh, that means I'm supported by the universe and all my movements are right and true and God got me and all this other stuff. Not going to go down the rails, but I'm just saying if you find a good meaning behind everything, but life is only showing you things that are less than good meanings, we can lie to ourselves all day long. Two, 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 stuck on what I think I know. But if what I think I know has only been given to me by something that is not showing me the me I need to see, I'm truly stuck. If what I think I know is only being shown to me by a system that never shows me what I want to see, yet I invest in it more than I do in myself, the two is me. The only thing separating me from what I'm supposed to be seeing is me separate myself into what I keep getting shown. What you keep getting shown? Nothing. But holy shit, nothing is everything. You have already placed yourself under a spell. You were the zero. You were the source. You were everything. But now you have separated yourself from everything. And now you're everywhere. Green. I'll just keep it simple. Green is the color of attachment. Y'all can call it heart all day long. But the heart is an attachment vessel. Um, when you're dealing with, like, say, Reiki and different formats of energy, we don't use green on cancer patients. On, on cancer patients, If you're an energy healer, because a lot of y'all just jump into shit without any research. If you are an energy healer and you are authentically thinking that you are channeling energy, what we call exteriorization, do not use green energy on somebody with cancers or thyroid issues or autoimmune diseases because green promotes growth. The alternate will be brown. So there's a little class for you right there too. But resonance only, motherfuckers. Y'all know what y'all doing. But if the green that I'm attaching to ain't showing me nothing, as I said, the 22222 already got me stuck. The average person will just say, I'm not stuck. I'm just on a journey. If I'm waiting to be shown what I won't see for myself because somebody else already told me that they're going to give it to me. I wouldn't even use orange. You could use orange, but I would use the counter to green. Realistically, if you want to think of it in the terms of growth, would be brown dirt. Brown energy would be a good complement versus green if you're dealing with somebody with cancer level energies. Orange can also promote growth. Orange has a component of the sun in it. It's an empowerment. Again, perspectives, experience. Stick with brown, but get off of the green. So. 22222 two, two, two in this format of breaking down 1127 2024 will also show you 1111, what people call activation. The angels are with me. I call it triggered. Why? Because holy shit, I already told you, four of the same numbers in a row means you're stuck in vibration. Four means there's an infection. And then that 1111 showed me 222. The trapped potential that is already infected is only showing me where I'm stuck on what I want to see. 222 two, two is I'm trapped in knowledge. I'm trapped in the reflection of what I want to see. If you are trapped in the reflection of what you want to see, is that the light or is that just the result of where you already lost your energy? Take your time with that one. 11, 11. I have been triggered by uh, my what I call infected potential. One is your potential. It's just stuck. This is a person... Think about it, the analogy of a person who has so much potential. Baby, you got so much potential. Why don't you come off them streets? Streets is all I know. But you smart. Why don't you get a job? Why don't you go ahead and, and do this, that, and the other and do something different? No, the streets is my family. So you're going to keep doing the same. Infected fucking potential. You're going to keep investing in what you think you know to produce a result that you ain't never seen because as long as I keep showing up, with the hope of seeing something different. Trap. You're already connected to the trap that you already grew. Them four ones, <laughs> they was a four, all right. 
Them four ones, there was a four, all right? You already boxed in. But what do we call a box? It's balance. Balance with what? What I'm connected to. What are you connected to? Stupidity. In, this, in the analogy I just gave you, that was stupidity. But if the only connection I got is with stupidity, am I not now stupid myself? No, that ain't what it is. You just got to find a better way. Lie to yourself, but don't lie to me. You're already trapped in a limited mind process that says that you ain't doing nothing but growing cancers because your energy is already infected. Why? You stuck in what you think you know. Streets love me. I don't even own them. And I keep getting killed or watching my partners die. Make it make sense. Shh. Again, don't lie to me. Lie to yourself. So the next line is three, 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 one. Three, three threes. Three is my thoughts. Three of the same number in a row is a trap vibration. My thoughts have kept me trapped. A deeper level, my mind, my body, my soul. They have energetically hijacked this whole meat suit. My mind is focused on what I'm thinking on. My body is responsive to what I'm thinking on. And my soul is the power plant for all of the energy. I don't even know how to get my soul free because I keep stealing from my soul, myself in separation from source, and empowering it to go through what I think I know. Trap thoughts with potential. It's basically the analogy I just had. I can't get this fucked up programming out of my head, even though I know I got the potential to be more. I don't want to be more unless I can get through what's already shown me less. Another four, only it's in reverse. But you see what happened here? That four that you got trapped in, that you found balance with, it took all your energy. It only left you upside down. Realistically, this is 2024. This is that master manifesto year I keep telling y'all about. 2024 is a 44. Two plus two is four. Two plus two is four, and you already had the other four. You're only trying to find balance in what you think you're connected to. And what you think you're connected to, that 22, is your spiritual journey. I'm answering your question if you're paying attention. That four is what you have given balance to. And that 22 is the journey I keep on choosing. But if the balance that I am only trying to journey into has only left me broken, is it the journey or is it me? Is it the journey that's the trap or do I have a trap mentality? Do I have a struggle mind that, holy shit, 44 keeps manifesting what I want to see? What do you want to see? More. How do you see more? Be more for yourself. Not this bullshit that people have latched into. Get out here and create it. You're only going to create from the lack that you have not seen enough within yourself. So you need to get out here and create more to see. Why creating a journey to get there? Holy shit. I'm manifesting what's already got me under control. Bonus card. That three three one that three 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 one where you are trapped in thoughts that are filled with potential. That's gonna show you what's gonna get created. 2025. You ain't gonna do nothing but manifest nothing. <laughs> this is a zero. Zero is nothing and everything. Zero is the amplifier. You're only going to manifest things that become amplified with your energy. You know, understand that? Take a one and put a zero behind it. The one becomes a 10. The zero becomes the amplifier. Whatever you keep dumping your energy into gets amplified just by you being there. Holy shit, it's a fight outside, but ain't but two people there. Next thing you know, it's 30 people there. Now it's a fucking Royal Rumble. It got amplified because you showed up. Holy shit, 2025. Why is shit so bad? Because you jackasses, sorry if this is offensive to you, but I have to be real. You jackasses keep manifesting the trap that you want to find balance with. And then you do not be amplified by taking your energy. Holy shit, 2025, potentially going to take your energy because you ain't seen enough. You ain't seen enough of what? Yourself. So you out here on a spiritual journey called more. Next line, 77.5. The spiritual potential of an illusion. Either way it go. Well, but see, that's, you know, that's not standard thinking to put the zero in front of the one because we don't never put ourselves in front of something. 
But if you want to go into exponentialism, putting the zero in front of the one, still increase the one. In the positions of reduction, when you start dealing the moleculars and shit like that, you just made it greater. You just reduced it to its greatest contents. You know, God particle shit. Holy shit, we're down here in tachyons and shit like that. But it's a small particle. Yeah, but it's got more potential. Potato fucking tomato. So, 3331. We just got trapped in the thoughts with potential. No matter which trick we try and try, we still stay trapped. We still stay trapped. Why? 77 and 5. We invest in the illusions that we think we're going to spiritually create something by going on these journeys into things. They have told you how to get there, that you have no idea who you are. <sighs> okay, good or bad. Connotations of use. Good or bad does not equate in this universe. That's just the connotations of a, of a mind set on parameters. Delusional lessons lessen delusional people. 77.5. Delusional lessons lessen delusional people. If you already think you have an idea of what's going on, but yet your idea of what's going on is not what's being shown, but you cannot move from it, you've already lessened yourself into everything you've been shown. If you cannot detach from the delusions of what you think you know, when what you think you know has never shown you what you want to see, you see it everything. That thought that already got you in danger. That three. That thought that already infected your mind, body, and soul already got you in danger. Why? Because you are the power plant. Red is power. You are giving up all your power to what has you in danger. Knowledge. Two, 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 two. What am I stuck on? What I think I know. How do I get out what I think I know? Give it more energy. Try that in your life. Real talk. If something in your life is only pulling on you and taking your energy... Try giving it more energy and see if it goes away. Or try keeping your energy for yourself and figuring out why the fuck was I even involved altogether. Holy shit, accountability and responsibility to myself instead of the ability to respond to what I think I know. When once again, what I think I know is not what I'm seeing. 77.5 delusional motherfuckers that keep lessening themselves by taking lessons from delusional concepts. Thoughts in danger. 388, your thoughts that are already in danger, going to gatekeep. What I tell you 88 is, the gatekeepers, it's your traumatic memory points. It is the things that make you feel good because you think you are running into something that you've already encountered. This is akin to where people say it's already embedded in our DNA, which science has already shown you over recent years, where they can take the DNA from one rat and pass it over into three generations later. And respond, I mean, in three generations later, that junior rat will respond to what the elder rat has already been frightened from without even knowing what it is. Been doing that for years. Took a rat and every time they exposed him to cherry pie or something like that, they shocked him. Took that DNA and blended it in three generations later. Put the cherry, fry, cherry pie in front of the, the grandson rat. The motherfucker went crazy. You don't know what that is. Yeah, but it's in my DNA at that point. So now I'm trauma responsive to stuff that I don't even fucking understand. But holy shit, I think I know. I'm responding to shit that I don't even understand, but I've been tricked into what I think I know. I'll never be still. Why? Because them thoughts that I keep on thinking that have told me what to think. Holy shit. Stay with me, children. Them thoughts. That were already in danger. That keep telling me to think with an endangered mindset. What's the in danger? The danger is within me. My traumas. They only going to gatekeep them traumas to keep them safe. If I think outside of the box, they might take their power back. Says almost every system of history. If they think for themselves, then who's going to think for me? Or who's going to do for me, I should say. Hmm. The thoughts only want a safe space for them to think. And the worst space for a thought to think is in the mind of a thinker because they have to have a valid reason for being there. Try that one. Instead of spewing some bullshit you think, you know, how about you have a reasoning process for why you think you know that 
and then figure out whether this shit even matters in the first place or if I'm just trauma responsing to what I got taught. Holy shit, 388. Thoughts gatekeep traumas. Knowledge is a trauma. Knowledge is the result of an experience already occurred. Holy shit, rat. Granddaddy rat. You mean the knowledge and the experience I went through might have an effect generations later, even though they didn't have to go through it, but it's still in their DNA? Uh-oh. Them thoughts only pulling on your traumas. Because as long as them thoughts can put on your traumas, you'll keep thinking. You'll keep thinking. Now, we already got your power for you to manifest and you're going to sponsor separation. You're going to have to create two more because now you have that thought that you ain't really smart enough to understand why the thought is there. But you're going to think you have an idea. So, holy shit, you already in separation. You have good and you have bad. You have truth and you have lie. You have perspective and you got perception. Holy shit, you got duality. But yet you think you know. It don't care whether you know or not, says the thought. I just want your dumb ass to think. Sorry. I just want you to think that you know what's going on. Because now you're going to create perspective. What's the good perspective? Since we want to play that game. What's the good perspective? <laughs> the good perspective is where there was two, we now have multiplicity. You now trying to find the good in this journey. It's going to require you to go into fragmentation. Holy shit. Here go your chakra field. You now going to create something to give your power to, but it's going to show your reflection of your danger. Yet it's going to need you to manifest it and attach. You got to draw four more to find out what's really good, player. What's really good? <laughs> you already under control. You're attached to the nine. You are attached to the highest vibration. Whatever seems like the highest vibration rules the day. Go down your timelines. Look in your stories. Whatever rules the highest vibration of that day, that's what gets the most attention. Holy shit, hypersexuality like a motherfucker. Immorality. Greed. Those are the highest vibration things. Why? Because they're fear-based energies that have now been taught as good. Should have never been given a fucking label. Oops, but that's the first thing you'll create in the separation where you have now already been separated from the separation, a.k.a. fragmentation. That's step one. You're already under control and it's a cancer, but you're attached to it. And holy shit, it's got your power. Why? Because it's got all your potential. Yellow. The sun. The solar plexus. The seat of the soul. Holy shit, you mean my soul is already captivated, like I said earlier, captured and captivated, and all it's doing is feeding all its potential to be free into what's got it under control. What's got it under control? What it thinks it's no. What it think it knows that already created separation. So you just gave all your potential to that one, but you're still at step three. Still under control, player. You're still under control. We don't care if you know it's your soul in subduction. We don't care if you know that your soul is in subduction. You'll become your own cancer. Why? Because you need to know. The fact that you don't have awareness enough to break the cycle means you're going to invest in trying to find something to know. Because knowledge is king. You got damn right. Knowledge will rule over you where you forgot to rule over yourself and set yourself free. Why? Step four. There go that zero again. That zero gives life to everything. That zero, that fool that could have done anything, got itself done up. Why? Because it invested its energy into what it thought was going to be the highest vibration based off of the potentials of what it could create. But holy shit, all it did was create a high vibrational cancer that verified that it tore itself apart because it needed to learn good and bad. I'll teach you bad. Bad is where your potential is being used against you. It's a one in reverse. Where you have manifested everything that has already stole your energy. When you have manifested everything that stole your energy, you gatekept yourself. This was 388. This was the thoughts will show me the traumatic processes. What's going on, goddess? So from there, we go to 19. 
Holy shit, what's 19? The sun card. That which gives life. That which gives life. Why? Because it's the potential of what's controlling me. One and nine. What's potentially controlling me determines my life. If you went in here, the analogy of the person on the streets. The person on the streets is ruled by making sure that he's safe on the streets when the streets ain't safe for him. Idiocracy. Idiocracy. So you've already given up your power. Why? Because I need to learn what my power is. What's your power? Giving up my power and putting myself in danger is what a lot of y'all would say. Going into journeys that ain't got a goddamn thing to do with you, but you don't have a goddamn thing to do with yourself, so you find. You don't have a connection to yourself, so you will connect yourself into everything that verifies your level of separation. Why? Because you're easily moved. You're easily moved. If you are easily moved, you will almost always go and find somebody else to move to. Holy shit. That was the second, the second line. That was the five twos. What the five twos tell you, you are fatally connected to this ideology that the misery of myself will need to find somebody else to make miserable too because misery loves company. That is why you see fanatics to go from page to page and, and you know, spew shit or try and start shit because they don't have wholeness within themselves. So they need to find somebody else to move because heaven forbid they get out of their own fragmentation. You get it? It's a viral function. I'm separated and I'm unhappy. Now I need to go out here and make my unhappiness yours too. Ta-da. I like not having power and I'd be damned if you be empowered. Oops. You're still moving. Five is movement. So from 19, where only thing you did was gave up your power to what's moving you because you have not found stillness for yourself, you now work for the thoughts. You're not a thinker. You ain't nothing but a program thought. Being told that, holy shit, that ain't what you need to know. Disrupt it. But why? Shh. Shut up. Because a lot of y'all aren't authorized to think on that level. You're not, authorized, you're not authorized to challenge your level of thinking, whether that's by ideology or direct trauma itself, because you're scared of the level of work that might come with getting an answer. So you'll just stay doing the same. Willingly enslaved. I can't even use a hashtag because TikTok will flag it. I might, might want to say it before they ban me. So, 19, you already gave up your power and you waiting on something to set you free. But where was my freedom stolen from? The minute I gave up my power. So, sir, ma'am, stop giving up your power. No, that ain't how it was written. Stuck in what you think you know. Then ain't never shown you what you want to see. And now you can't even see yourself. One plus nine. Nah, we're not going to do that. We're going to do six, four. We're going to play dominoes real quick. Six, four. Six, four gets you paid. Six, four, the domino. Six, my traumas. Four, trapped. If I'm trapped in my traumas, I'm in the game. If I'm trapped in my traumas, I'm in the game. Why? Because the trap got all my power. I'm upside down. I'm not finding balance. I'm just finding traps. I'm just finding more bullshit to keep giving my energy to in the notion of finding me through a spiritual journey. When the whole journey was me, why not sit my punk ass down and be still and find myself? <laughs> Thank you, Franklin. So... Six, four, what keeps you in the game? You like staying in the trap and you keep giving all your power to the trap, hoping that you're going to overload it. Uh, I've been saying this since about 2015. That's ego. Ego in the ideology of separation, when you still function on them lower levels where you think there's a higher self in the ego, it's all you. But when you're thinking that there is a higher self in the ego, Ego has this ideology that I'm going to run through every experience possible so that there is no more experiences to experience and then I can get out of the game. That's the Akashic lie. Ego says I'm going to use my energy to generate and operate as many experiences as I can and then nothing can trap me. If you give all of your energy to every experience, you are already trapped. Thank you. If you give your energy into everything designed to move you, you cannot be still. They showed y'all this shit since, uh, I mean, really, they started right after the, um, and I posted about it. They post, they started right after the winter solstice, right around December 28, 29. They started with the Cat Williams bullshit, and it's deeper than this. But they started with the, here, put something in front of them because they don't know how to keep still. Let's find more stuff to move them. 
So y'all came into 2024. Ooh, Cat Williams going to bring the light to everything. You're right. He brought the light to everything that was designed to distract your ass and you fell for it. And it just kept on creating more and more distractions throughout the whole year. And then the important shit that you ain't supposed to be paying attention to, but you might have should have paid attention to, you missed it. Because you were too busy being entertained. Why? Because it kept you in the game. As long as you invest more in what somebody else got going on than sitting your punk ass down and being still, you lost. You two, 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 sandwich wiki. You got the codes. You just don't understand the language. Oops. You know you in a spell. You just don't speak the same language. Oops. That went over so many people's heads. You know you're in a spell. You just haven't learned a language. You're still using the language of the spell to get out of the spell by spelling a spell to keep you not learning the language. Shh. <clears throat> keep you in the game. Holy shit. 6-4. What's 6-4? 10. What's 10? The Lilith choice. I'm going to choose between enslavement and enslavement. But one of them work out better for me because at least I ain't got to do what they told me to do. I'm just going to do what they offered for me to do. Q in Chris Tucker. Which one of you motherfuckers kicked me? All of them. At that point, when you choosing between your separation instead of maintaining your wholeness. Did they do it? Or did you just give up your energy? Willingly enslaved. 10, you chasing between your potential and where you can fool yourself by empowering everything by giving up your energy. Whether you standing behind it or you standing in front of it, defending it. Either way it go, that one owns you. Whether you put the zero in front of the one in a dot, it owns you. Or whether you put the zero behind the one, it owns you. Why? Because it's an amplifier of your energy. You losing your energy only amplifies what it goes into. Don't give a shit how you spin it. Perspective goddess, Black Stallion. You say I was down to my knee till I got my power back. Perspective. You didn't get your power back. You just stopped giving it away. You are your power. That yellow... The power is you. Once I realized what was moving me was just a trap, I stopped trapping myself. Did I get my power back or did I just stop playing games and doing things to myself? Perspective. Words or spells. <laughs> so, 10. I'm, I'm chasing separation. Why? Because I'm trying to choose between this potential that can get me messed up and this food. That is messing myself up. Holy shit, we're back on the street again. See, I'm out on the corner and there's a dope deal around there, but I'm from the streets. Okay, did the streets get you killed? Or was it the foolishness of yourself showing up to the game? Now you're on a t-shirt. Now you're on a t-shirt and everybody free little noop noop and all this other shit. Noop noop should have said his dumb ass at home. Yeah, I said it. Now noop noop on a t-shirt. Or noop, noop, noop in jail and man, man on a t-shirt because both of them motherfuckers didn't know how to sit their ass down. Why? Because they chasing the separation. What was used to keep them in separation, they trying to use to get themselves back in wholeness. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. You just ran back and forth. Wholeness. You just ran back and forth. It's a reversal spell. What do you mean? You just gave power to what was designed to take your power. And now it ain't taking your power. You just won't keep it for yourself. Holy shit, Black Stallion. It ain't take my power. I just wasn't keeping it for myself. So I keep running back in cycles, harming myself until I learn to sit my punk ass down to be still and stop giving up. Holy shit, Blue. Stop manifesting these situations. Stop manifesting this Ouroboros spell. You see that? The cyclic loop of existence. Cycles and patterns and traumas and phoenix energy and all that other bullshit. <laughs> you can read with anything. Well, I take it back. 
I can read with anything. I can read with business cards. I can read with coins. I can read with kids' cards. And that's not me trying to toot my own horn. I'm an animus. There's energy in everything. You just got to know how to listen to it. <laughs> Don't measure time. Don't measure time. Two years to get it right. Don't measure time because the minute you measure time, you are going to create the time to verify that you learned the lesson. Don't do that. Just try this. I'm being aware of me because can't nobody make you do a goddamn thing in this room. I am me. Time is not real in the spiritual sense, but time is this is my energy. In the sense to where we are all participants in this illusion of separation, time is real in the capacity of energetic output of self. Time, T-I-M-E. This is my energy. You don't get my time unless I authorize it. <laughs> so, you chasing and choosing separation and all it did was get you to separate yourself. Why? Because you're empowering. Listen. You're empowering what you think you know when what you think you know was already used to keep your ass in a loop. Holy shit, Sam Sars will. I'm going to use every grain of morsel that they keep feeding into this cage. Sam Sars will. Look it up if you don't understand it. The hamster's cage. I'm going to keep feeding from everything that they keep putting in this cage. It's got me trapped, but I'm going to keep eating everything in this trap to get myself free. Sir, ma'am. Where was the contents in the trap? Why would you think it's going to set you free? Because I have not found the connection within myself. Red danger. I have not found enough of myself to set myself free. So therefore, I authorize this spiritual journey into separation to find myself. But sir, ma'am, who is this? I don't know. That motherfucker under traumas. So I'm going to take my traumas and go on a journey to find out how I am without the traumas, without getting rid of the traumas. Because the minute I got rid of the traumas, there was only me. I don't need to move forward. I need to be still and learn W-H-Y. I don't need to move forward or backwards. I need to be still and learn W-H-Y. Why am I giving up my energy? But that's a hard thought process. Thought hurt hard thought process for people to wrap their mind around. Why? Because we've already sponsored the separation that has taught us how to use our power into connecting into our own separation, which has left us trapped with trying to find balance from the cancers that have already trapped us in the cancers and now our thoughts are cancerous and we keep creating separation because the duality of good says you only going to fragment yourself in separation and lose all your power to everything that's already got your potential but it's going to show you your power your power by showing you nothing but that's just a good perspective the bad perspective was potentially it's all your power did you catch that when something says i'm gonna potentially show you it's your power but then the other side says, well, potentially it is your power. The angel said, I'm going to take you through life lessons and show you that this was all you. The devil said, motherfucker, it is all you. At what point do you slap both of them motherfuckers? All disrespect and respect do. Get it? Within the points of separation in yourself. At what point do you stop taking guidance from the points of your separation they only working for the perspective that feels best for them. Split. Split. Trying to learn from what already got your power because one side thinks they're trapped more than the other. My higher self and my ego. My light, my dark. You just going back and forth where you already lost your power and that shit ain't going to show you nothing. But it'll show you the fool. The fool is everything. Why? Because the fool can do anything. What do you mean the fool can do anything? Because the fool was at the choice of separation. That's what 10 is. Two numbers pretending to be one. Which one of them real? Common sense would tell you that if somebody says there's two numbers that are pretending to be one, I can't trust you, player. Nah, see, y'all ganging up on me. 
there's two of y'all and y'all trying to play together. What does that mean for me? Why is the two of y'all outside talking about come outside? We just want to talk. Hell no, I'm going to get gamed. I just brought my sister with me because she just want to listen. Okay, boo boo the fool. You go outside and choose between which one I'm going to kick you. All three of them going to kick you. You're going to kick yourself. Why? Because you already gave up yourself to the potential of what's going to happen. This is that one. They're about to take your magic. <laughs> about to take your magic. And you're going to be cancerously connected to growing the spiritual journey. You're going back and forth. Holy shit, it's a reversal spell. What I've been calling since 2013, the reverse curse. You have cursed yourself into going backwards trying to find yourself by moving forward trying to figure out who you are. God damn it, Alice. You really did go through the looking glass. You went into the reflection and broke the reflection, and now you're going into the pieces of the reflection to figure out the reflection was, but that still ain't who you are. That's just yourself in separation. Using the limits to fully understand the limits will never show you the wholeness. Why not realize why the limits are there? They got that dirty word again, W-H-Y. Figure out why the limits are there and figure out who's worth more. That potential that's going to keep on getting me going back and forth or that fool, the source of why I can't keep still. It ain't that everything out here moving us. We just won't keep still. We just won't keep still. So we keep giving up our power. Nine. We keep giving up our vibrations to what we keep manifesting. Because holy shit, all we speak is spells. This goes way deeper than what you think. This is way beyond Kabbalistic magic. Sorry. This is that which you speak. Is that what you create? And if all I seek to see is myself in separation, holy shit, genie, you'll get it. But will you get you? Now, you've already given up all your powers to what you think. That's why you can't understand anything that, that goes outside of what you think you know. The perfect trap. Try arguing with a five-year-old about something that's on a seven-year-old level. See what happens. And that is no disrespect, but that is what's going on. You are talking to a bunch of children who cannot understand that they don't know everything and they need an ROI, return on investment, on what they think they know. Yet that which they think they know has never shown them what they want to see themselves. Don't, don't get stuck in your head. Don't get stuck in your head. In my number system, eight is the war with the thoughts in your head. If there is a war with the thoughts in your head, give yourself wholeness. Normally, in most people cases, when there is a war in their head, it is a traumatic response to something that has already occurred. Or, like I was saying about that rat, it is the intended um, experience that you're trying not to see. You understand that? It's either I've already been through something or I'm trying to avoid going through something. That is already trauma responsive and already a format of separation. What I already been through, already passed. Pass the test, graduate, get the fuck out of it. Stop this bullshit system of reclamation and you need soul retrieval and you need to meet your inner child. Nope, you grew up. You're a grown fucking person. You keep playing with that inner child. You keep creating space for your past. You have already given up all of your presence, all of your gifts. All of your T-I-M-E, this is my energy, to validate some bullshit you've been taught to know. Resonance only. So, get out of your head. If I learn to become aware of the level of love I have for myself, then I have to find reciprocity in anybody else. Don't find a reflection. If I learn to have authentic love for myself without any conditions, then I lose the realm of attachment that is running this realm. I don't own you. My wife's in there. I don't own her. She don't own me. She works on her to the point to where she stays in her wholeness. I work on me to the points where I stay in my wholeness and we stay whole together. We function as one. 
not watching each other to see who gonna fuck up. Resonance only. So find the wholeness of yourself and then give that energy to somebody that bears that reciprocal reflection. Not just a reflection of the traumas of what you want to see or what you're running from or running to, but what you already are. As you see yourself is, is how you should see others. My saying is everybody in your existence is a reflection of you in your healing or in your sickness. Choose accordingly, but take accountability in all of those choices. Wholeness.